Hi there Aquarius, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at July 18 through 24. Now the usual steadiness of the Capricorn full moon on Tuesday July 19 will be disrupted this year by a difficult square from your ruler Uranus, the planet of the unexpected and unusual which has been in Aries since 2010. Uranus has been a bit of a bully in Aries because Aries being the first sign of the zodiac tends to be pushy and a bit childish and it's making it difficult for everyone to move in new and different directions whether you know we want to or not we're all being forced to not exactly travel the road we want to but travel the road less traveled by us. So this full moon double square indicates a disturbing energy that is going to make it harder to complete pretty much anything. On Friday, July 22nd, the sun switches from watery Cancer to its own home field of fiery Leo, which is great news for you because of course Leo is your opposite sign, your seventh house of partnerships and relationships, the way you get along with people. It's great for attached Aquarians and it's great for those of you who are single and looking for love. This is a very positive change for the sun to move into Leo, whom he, he rules, because at you know the heart of our galaxy, the sun, of course is very fiery and gives us warmth and Leo is fiery and more celebrities are born under the sign of Leo than any other sign by a lot. It's not just by a few names, it's actually by a considerable amount. Political figures, we've had a lot of presidents who were Leos, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, we had Arnold Schwarzenegger who was our governor and you know Madonna, JLo, Whitney Houston, Halle Berry, just to name Ben Affleck, just to name a few uh, you know A-list celebrities who are born under the sign of Leo and Leo of course is a very good match for you because they're a fire sign, you're an air sign, you get a kick out of them, they get a kick out of you. This next month, whilst the sun is in Leo, is the best time of 2016 to decide how you can become the star of your own life. And that's very important too, because sometimes we get so caught up in what everybody else is doing, trying to keep up with the Joneses, that we don't actually work out what's best for us and how to get ahead and not worry about what anybody else thinks. Well, the universe is granting you that opportunity, so take it and enjoy. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next week.